this color is everything. Like it's it's, it's giving. It's giving. Like ooh. I mean, honestly, man, she's a bad thing. Fine as hell. Thick as fuck. Oh my god. That's my baby, Caroline. guys what's good what's popping <clears throat> so let's get into today's wig install today i'm doing something a little different got us some color like what this is this wig is from mega look hair company and we got us a frontal i am loving that the companies now are installing little elastic bands as well as regular adjustable bands i was about to start doing a whole customization process i was going to figure out some way to I was going to probably bleach the knots and do some plucking, but taking it out of the box, I was like, this hair is basically very much styled for me. It even has some like curls already going in there for you. And I just, I just didn't want to do too much. I was like, let me not even ruin it because if I start bleaching the knots, then the hair is going to lose its curls. The curls were going to fall and just, even there's even a part already made for me. So this is going to be a very, you know, something a little easy. It's not every day having to do a full customization. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the lace. All right, so first thing first before I put this wig on, I'm gonna go ahead and give her a little tint so it can be the perfect match of my skin tone. And I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 356 Warm Coconut. I've been using this shade like all year round and I've, everyone's been telling me that I look a little bit lighter someone accused me of bleaching one of my aunties so that's making me feel like i think i should probably get a shade lighter on this foundation because i am in my winter shade okay so i'm a little fair tone so this might come off a little bit dark on my lace but honestly i don't think it'll come off dark because since this is a transparent lace meaning it has more like a wider cast i think it'll be just fine because since it's my exact shade and this lace is a little bit lighter than me you know Color math, it should be a little bit light, so maybe this it's not gonna end up being dark. Okay, now we've got our lace nice and tinted. I don't wanna put too much on there so it doesn't end up being too dark, like I was saying earlier. And we can go ahead and put her on. I feel like since my braids are getting very fuzzy, I should put on a wig cap. Okay, so now let's do some hair prep. Don't laugh at my braids or my forehead if you laugh, you're anti-black, okay? Um, right now, I'm just going to put some Edge Booster gel. Edge Booster is like, or is it called Edge Booster? Yeah, Edge Booster, Edge Control. This brand is my favorite Edge Control for my really, like, natural hair. Because my hair, she, she's, she's very kinky, okay? She's tough. And I feel like it's the only thing that can actually tame it. So I'm just gonna use that to help slick these edges back. A wig cap, and the wig cap is really just to create a flat base since my braids right now are horrendous. And I'm just gonna slide it back to also help push those edges back as well. Okay, now our head is nice and prepped. And then lastly, make sure you secure your clips good fitting wig is essential for a bomb install so clipping those in and if this is too loose you can cut it in half like this like right here cut it and then tie it that's what i used to do all the time to get it to get it snatched onto your head and this is a perfect way for you to wear your wig glueless is by having an elastic band like this installed but anyways Ooh, look at this. That was cute. I used to be so against like trying colored wigs. Like if you watch my old videos, I used to only do like black wigs. But these days, if you're a girl who's never tried like colored wigs or colored anything, you're always like keeping it. You're like a one B, a one, a number two type of girly with your hair. Try some colored wigs. Like literally, I feel like as a black girl or just as anyone, you can wear any color. Any color is wearable. It's about how you wear it. That's how I feel. I'm so excited for this. Ooh. Okay, but first, let me get my entertainment going. While I entertain y'all, I gotta entertain myself. And recently, I've been watching um, Sex and the City. So, that's gonna be my entertainment for this install. I'm gonna watch some Carrie Bradshaw. 
I just always need some kind of like comfort show going when I'm doing my installs because installing this wig, it can be a little bit, installing wigs can, it can be a little bit, it can be a little stressful. So comfort show to keep me cool and tempered. And then let's cut around our ears because the lace always sits over my ears. Well, most of the time it does. And what I do to cut the lace off around my ears, I just get a comb and I just kind of like feel around where the top of my ear is, which is like right up here. And I just part the hair around my ear. You see, nice fresh part. And I just cut up and around. Why so much lace? And boom, now my ears can peacefully peek out. Cool. Cut our sections. And the reason why I cut sections, honestly, is really just to make the process a lot easier. Like just installing the wig at one just sounds just, it's just it's really overwhelming. And it just allows me to pay more attention to detail when I do it in sections. Fresh face razor to cut off our lace. Fresh ones are always better. That's why I just have a big old pack from Amazon of like 60 of these. So I can have a fresh one each time. Is it wasteful? Yes. But such is life. Okay. And now I'm just going to go ahead and cut the lace off first. A fresh razor just makes such a good clean cut. And I'm always trying to cut off as much lace as I can. Like, obviously there's like hair on there, don't cut it, but like as much like naked lace. And now, I'm gonna be using the Ebon Lace Spray. Love her to spray down my lace. I was watching my sister install her wig, and one thing she does, literally after she sprays the Ebon Spray, she just puts the elastic band on. I was like, why don't you use your blow dryer to lock it down? She was like, I don't have time for that. I'm like, that's why your wig is always lifting. Like, I'm telling you guys, just spraying this, like, yes, it's going to stick, but for, like, a good stuck, stuck, like, very melted look, you you can't skip this step. Get your blow dryer on a, I call it, I call it high, medium. If you have a blow dryer that has, like, lots of settings, or, like, at least two settings, I like to use a warm setting, but on the lower power. So, like, not... getting a little bit chaotic I'm just trying to like pull out my side ear tabs right here this also just pulling these sideburns out is what helps me like really pull the lace down on the side because the side is a little bit finicky it's a little tricky sometimes I'm trying to like really push that lace down and then back in my blow dryer Don't mind me, I'm just plucking out the hair so like are coming too far down on my head because my my hairline doesn't come that far down. I've been having this thing where like I just be pulling, I just be yanking hair out these days because that's, ooh. It's better to yank the hair out than like cut that lace because it just looks funny when you cut the lace versus when you just pull the hair out from the root. It's not sticking, I can see lifting so I'm going to go in and just spray some more. Like sometimes, depending on the lace, it's not going to stick on the first spray. And that's okay. Just go back in and spray again. But make sure you're not spraying too much and you're also spreading that product out. That's why when y'all see me spray, I always use my finger to like tap everything out. So that way I'm like evenly spreading it and not just causing buildup in one area. Mm. Cut off some more excess lace. Like literally, like I always say, a good install is about attention to details. This 
front hairline is coming down much a lot lower than my hair would naturally so I'm gonna like pluck it not pluck it since I didn't pluck this wig at all but honestly these days I kind of like ooh, that's too much that's way too much hair. Ah, oh my god oh my god I'm laughing bird yeah so I'm just right now just trying to like pull out some hairs in the front right here because my forehead doesn't go down that low and these days i'm really about embracing my natural hand shape or whatever so like don't get me wrong it's not exactly where my normal forehead start because why would i do that to myself why would i do that and instead of cutting off the excess lace like i used to it's a lot better for you to just literally yank the hairs out make sure you yank them out from the root and do this at your own risk because sometimes if the knots are really big you yank it you don't cut a hole in your lace but they have like little tiny knots like this, then it's just better for you to yank it out. Cause it just looks, it's not gonna look funny. Sometimes you like cut the lace instead of yanking the hair out, it like leaves little knots and that just looks funny on the lace. Band on it. Oh, I hate when that happens. Sometimes I've learned it's better to just clasp the band in the front because the back be snapping. Ooh. Let's create some baby hairs. This side is like low key chaotic as hell. Spray some, instead of hot combing my baby hairs down, I just like to spray the spray to help them lay down. Because the hot comb, I will burn myself if I do that. Curl our baby hair. Ah! Under curls are always better. Ooh. And to swoop, we'll be using Eco Styler. If you're interested in a very detailed like baby hair tutorial, we'll break it down. I do have one that I recently put out, so do check that out. Oh, because I cannot talk through my baby hairs. It's a stressful time for me. So check that out.
now we can get into our styling portion and styling like i said i wanted to keep it very you know easy we it's a, it's a lazy girl install today well not lazy but you know what i mean first let's press out this hairline a bit make it nice and smooth going in my care care wax stick always make sure you do that back that's how you get a really good install so i get it back and I know I've talked about this trick before in my recent video with your hot comb. See what you gotta do with the hot comb. It's all about this back part. So to get it really smooth, make sure you're like really using the back to press into the hair more than the combs. The combs are like there to just kind of help separate the hair. It's that like back part of the hot comb that does the work. Literally, now I really make sure I'm rotating to get the back to hit the hair and my wigs are so much more flatter. Oof. So really make sure it's the back that's doing the work, not really the combs. Yeah, see? Pressed. To curl it, I'm going to use my little makeshift, my DIY curling wand. It was like a regular curling tong, but I just prefer wands better, so I just got my screws and took out the tong portion. I'm going to use it as a wand. I believe it's one inch. And I got this from the thrift store and it is originally by Hot Tools. And I'm gonna spray some of this Chi Shine Infusion Spray. It is like a light heat protective as well as like a light shining spray. And I say light because I don't wanna add something heavy to the to this hair. I feel like the hair is already kinda of like really, it's like very like fine. And I think if I add any heavy, heavy product, it's gonna weigh it down. I don't wanna weigh down the hair. And then just, I think, I don't know, I want to do like a twist or a wrap. I want the ends, I'll just do the wrap. I always say I know the curls are ready to be released whenever I can like touch the hair on the top and I can feel the hair, the warmth of the hair. And then hold it. Always hold your curl before you drop it. Like that really helps the curl like at least like, you know, form its body first. You should hold it for like five seconds if you have time and you have pins, pin it up. But I ain't got time for that. And then drop it. Nice, nice, nice. Very springy.
nervous. I'm nervous. I'm gonna give the curls a second to chill out. Let's see what's going on under this band. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Ow, I have like all these like stuck pieces of the hair. I'm just gonna like pluck it off. And this hair color low-key stains a little bit, like my face is stained. Just a little bit from like the back and forth of the ego styling in the hair. Ow. I'm just trying to peel off all this excess glue, not glue, but the hairspray, my hair too. Honestly, the easiest way is just to get water and wipe this off. But I don't like using water because water will also can cause it to lift and I don't want it to lift. I'm going to break the curls up with my finger because I feel like that's just like the easiest way to break it up without it dropping because I don't want the curls to drop. I'm just going to use my finger. First, ooh, that's pretty. Mm. Yeah. I feel like I should cut it shorter, but like, I don't know if I should. I'm just gonna really cut it right here. I believe it's 20 inches, so now I'm probably making it like, what, 16 inches? Okay, so I'm just going in with some hairspray at certain points of the hair to hold the style a certain way. So I'm like gonna lift the hair up a little bit. So that way like it has some volume. Cut on like a very neat look. Ooh. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, last touch, last touch, um, just to help, you know, Cover up that wig cap line in the back. I'm gonna put concealer in our part. I put a little bit too much right there. Yikes. Blendy, blendy, blend. This color is everything. Like, it's, it's, it's giving. It's giving. Like, ooh. I really was not expecting to like this wig so much. I feel like I never do. It's because I just be eating them up. But yeah. This is your sign, like always, if you want to try a color. I feel like this is even a good, like, entry level, like, color. Like, it's giving you color without doing too much, you know? And we are done. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, this look, this video. If I helped you, you can go ahead and help me by, like, commenting and subscribing. Even if I didn't help you, just because it's Black History Month, you know? Support your local businesses. Anyways, I'll see you guys in another one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Happy Black History Month. And peace out, Girl Scouts. Goodbye.